Hey guys, if you're enjoying the content that I'm making, please click that subscribe button. Also remember to click that bell button and make sure to tick that box to send all notifications so you don't miss out on any videos. With that in mind, let's get on with the video. What's up guys, welcome to Munchkins Gaming where we take your gaming to the next level. This is Munchkins logging in to bring you another Dissidia Final Fantasy Opera Omnia video. And welcome to my video guide on Shiva's Chaos Fight. And without further ado, actually we're gonna start this video straight away. Now as always, we'll start this off with the weaknesses, resistances, and the elements that the boss can absorb, and of course her, their abilities. Shiva is the boss here, it is weak to fire, it can absorb the ice element. As for its abilities, let's talk about its recast ability first called Diamond Dust. This is her recast ability, she will remove any debuffs that is on her, frames excluded from level 120. This increases her brave when her brave is less than her initial brave. This is a group magic group ice magic brave attack this also applies the frostbite to the field it prevents any action until shiva's next turn the effect still applies following friend support and revival and this also inflicts a initial de brave down debuff as well this grants her the frozen crystal and initial brave up buff and she will have an instant turn rate below level 120 Next up is her Brave Attack, which is a Ice Magic Brave Attack, Boreal Plunge, which is her Magic HP Attack, Ice Rock, which is a Ice Magic Brave Attack that can also inflict a speed down debuff and increasing, increases the turn rate when she is inflicting a break or attacking a target afflicted with break. Next up is Hailstorm, which increases her Brave and will do a Ice Magic Brave attack. This also grants herself a speed up buff to herself. Next is Icicle Thrush, which basically is a group ma Ice Magic Brave attack and can also inflict a turn rate down debuff. Icicle End is next. This increases her Brave and will do a group Magic HP attack. Now, Avatar is triggered when her HP drops below below a certain amount. I do believe it's somewhere around like 80 to 90%, somewhere around there. This will remove uh, any debuffs applied on her frames included. Uh, then Shiva will split into two Shivas. The, the next thing is the Cold Permeates, which basically is a little um, text that you will see. This basically raises her attack, defense, speed, and initial brave. Note there's no max brave increase on this one. However, the next one, the cult permeates further, will actually increase all her stats, and that's including her max brave. Next is the cult intensifies. This basically raises her stats once again. Uh, and then you, we have Resist Veil which is triggered when she is inflicting a break or attacking an enemy afflicted with break from level 120 onwards. This basically nullifies any HP damage until you break Shiva and this will cancel Resist Veil. And finally she is immune to the defense down, speed down and initial brave down debuffs. Okay, so now let's talk about the general tips and strategies that I have implemented for this fight. The first one, again, is to bring in a debuffer slash dispeller. Specifically, people who have frame debuffs that has sort of the sap or poison effect, just like Sarah, Ultimicia, somewhere along those lines, and even Kefka to a certain point. Just people who can actually do that is actually going to help you out in this fight. Next up is Paralysis, Silence, and Delay are still your best friend here. They are going to work on Shiva, so that does give you extra turns that you may need so you don't get killed. And the next one is, this is very important, do not get broken. Whatever you do, do not get broken, because this is actually really, really tough. If they actually break you with their resist veil, not only that, but they actually have a pretty high max brave in the chaos fight. They, they can basically take down almost half of your HP with just their um, 
recast the ability Diamond Dust basically. After that they'll do the Icicle End which basically will deal half your damage and then the next Shiva will do it and then you're pretty much screwed. So try not to get broken and for the most part try to have some sort of regen, HP regen so you can heal through at least those extra turns is going to help you out. The next one is for your friend support, try to bring in Agrius, Sarah, and Charlotta. Again, Agrius is there for your silence, extra paralysis if you can. And if you don't have your own Sarah, the Seraph that you're bringing in is actually going to help you, especially with her frame debuff. Now, talking about MVP characters uh, to consider, there are Ultimicia, Warrior of Light, Ferris, Little Set, Agrius, Sarah, Vanille, Celeste, Setzer, or Cloud. Note that with Ferris, even though that she, all the debuff that she'll apply will disappear, as long as you have her uh, EX ab ability up or that unique buff that basically deals damage every time, you know, Shiva's turns end, this will actually shave off a little bit of the Brave as well, so it's actually a really nice ability. Now for the healers plus brave battery options, you do have a few here that you can use. Uh, you can use Charlotta, Horum, Rem, and even now Kate Sith is considered a healer plus brave battery options. And of course Ishtola is still probably to me the best one here. Now for the summon, I do highly suggest you just use Ifrit because Shiva is weak to fire. Plus you get that 30% or sorry, 25% extra attack which is really really nice. Okay, so now that is out of the way, let's take a look at some possible party compositions. The first one I have for you guys here is Warrior of Light, Sarah and Ishtola with an Agria support and Ifrit for the summon. Basically, Warrior of Light here is to protect everyone from getting broken with his shield, so it's really really nice that you, if you do have Warrior of Light in this one, um, it's, he's still very effective, so I highly suggest if you have him, you can actually use him and prevent you, prevent you from getting broken. Next is Sarah, of course, she's the MVP here, she's there for the, that frame debuff that has the, the poison slash sap effects, and of course Ishtola is there for delays and of course some healing there as well. Next up is the party compositions that you are seeing right now in this video. It's Sarah, Agrius, and Ultimicia with an Agrius support and the Ifrit 40 summon. Again, Sarah is here for that de as your debuffer with that sap poison. Uh, frame debuff, Agrius for the odd silence plus plus paralysis. You can actually use switch it out with another Agrius as well if you really want to. Ultimisa is here just to save you some turn counts, and she also has that sap debuff as well. So yeah, she's actually quite useful in this fight. Now for the third party compositions, I have here Bosch, Vanille, and Ultimicia with an Agri support and if it for the summon. Bosch is really great to tanking all those HP attacks if, for whatever reason, you do get broken with that. At least Bosch can take all those HP attacks and of course he can still self heal if you have his uh, crystal level 65 passive and of course his abilities can heal him as well. So just to be careful, uh, you know, he is going to be taking a lot of damage if, if for whatever reason you do get broken with diamond dust and all that and if you get hit by a lot of that, um, just be sure that you can top him off uh, every now and again. Vanilla is here just to dispel and debuff as well as well as give you a little bit of brave battery and of course uh, Ultimicia is there to save you some turn counts again and of course that frame sap debuff that she has is actually very very useful. Now the last one I have for you guys here is Kuja, Sarah, and Ishtola with an Agni support and Ifrit for the summon. Kuja is here basically for the AoE damage, he's just mainly here for the DPS. Sarah again for that frame debuff and of course Ishtola heals and delays, still works really great and for whatever reason if you do die and Ishtola does survive, you can actually revive your entire party with her EX ability. So, Really, really broken character. Let's just be <laughs> honest with that one. Okay, guys, so we're nearly at the end of this video, so it's time to give you my final thoughts of this fight. Now, in all honesty, like I mentioned before, if you watch my Ifrit video first, 
basically I found Ifrit a little bit more difficult than this one. Uh, probably again because of the party compositions that I used. Uh, in here I just went all out with the most effective characters that I can think of. Of course Sarah is actually quite broken in this one. If you do inflict that frame debuff on the Shiva, it basically makes their brave to nothing basically. Even though they break you, it'll still drop to zero so um, you still will be able to live off on one of those attacks, the icicle end. So uh, you can see for the, in the video for yourself, it's really broken if you have Sarah here. Uh, obviously Ultimicia is really great when it comes to uh, saving turn counts and Agrius is overall a really great character as well. So overall I found this fight okay, it wasn't too difficult for me but I know a lot of people are actually um, more annoyed with this uh, fight than any of the other summon fights only because there's two Shiva to deal with and sometimes you're splitting up your damage and if you do have those 100% splash damage characters, you can definitely bring them here but obviously party composition plays a big part when you are trying to finish chaos fights. So I highly suggest if you do have Sarah, just use Sarah. Don't make things too difficult for yourself. If you have her EX, you don't actually need her to go to EX+. Plus. Even just with her normal EX, she is completely fine in this fight. I did however go 3 out of 3 on my own Sarah, so that makes it a little bit easier and of course dealing more damage is actually really great. Um, other than that, yeah, that's all I can think of regarding this fight. Please remember to click like and subscribe if you haven't already. It does help my little channel to grow for every subscribe button hit. And of course, it does help with the YouTube algorithm if you leave that like button as well. If you click that, uh, it does help that make sure this video gets seen by other people as well and of course i would like to hear from you guys your final thoughts of this fight as well or your just thoughts on this fight um leave down in the comments below which one do you think was harder if rick shiva or ramu's ultimate chaos fight let me know down in the comments below um make sure to follow me on twitter and on facebook these are my social media you can follow me there at Moshkins Gaming, and you can ask me questions or just talk about the city of Opera Omnia. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can if you do private message me. Anyway, that's it guys. This is Moshkins logging off, and I'll see you guys in the next level.